In a surprising move, the New York Yankees have decided to part ways with one of their most utilized bullpen pitchers. Before their game against the Colorado Rockies on Sunday, the Yankees announced they had designated right-handed reliever Michael Tonkin for assignment. This unexpected decision allowed the Yankees to make room on their 26-man roster for another right-handed reliever, Phil Bickford. Bickford himself had been designated for assignment by the Yankees earlier in the season, but was brought back to the roster with this change. If you love the Yankees but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. Help U.S. contributing in our channel with any value. Michael Tonkin, a 34-year-old veteran pitcher, has faced a tumultuous season so far. He was designated for assignment three times in April alone, first by the Minnesota Twins and twice by the New York Mets, before he eventually found a spot with the Yankees on April 25th. Tonkin's journey through the season has been marked by his frequent movement between teams, but he managed to find some stability and an opportunity to contribute in New York. During his stint with the Yankees, Tonkin appeared in 39 games, where he posted a 3.38 ERA, a 1.16 whip, and a strikeout rate of 9.2 per nine innings. Over 56 innings pitched, he also notched two saves. However, his time before joining the Yankees wasn't as impressive. In six relief appearances with his previous teams, he recorded a 6.00 ERA and a win-loss record of 1-2. Despite these mixed performances, Tonkin had shown flashes of reliability, which made the Yankees' decision to DFA him surprising to me. Yankees manager Aaron Boone addressed the media following the decision, expressing his admiration for Tonkin's contributions to the team. It was a tough decision today. Tonk has been great for us, Boone said. He explained that the move was partly a strategic one, as several pitchers were unavailable to pitch on Sunday due to the heavy usage of five bullpen arms the day before, including Tonkin himself. Boone emphasized the need to avoid being short-staffed for the upcoming two games, leading to the tough call to designate Tonkin for assignment. If you suffer from varicose veins and leg pain this problem can be solved with Venacel. What is the Venacel? Venacel is for varicose veins. Venacel actively works to regenerate the health of the legs, eliminating the symptoms of the disease. It has many powerful herbal extracts, which are widely used in folk medicine for their vasoprotective properties and this cream has positive effects on damaged skin and blood vessels. I left the link below in the description of this video and fixed in the comments. Tonkin's season has been characterized by inconsistent performance, which may have factored into the Yankees' decision. Since the All-Star break, his effectiveness on the mound has diminished, with opposing batters hitting .304-.382-.506 against him over 19 and one-third innings. This was a stark contrast to his pre-All-Star break performance, where across his time with the Twins and Mets, he held batters to a much lower slash line of .184-.275-.282. The sharp decline in his performance metrics post-break likely played a role in the Yankees' assessment of his future with the team. Now, with Tonkin designated for assignment, his immediate future remains uncertain. If he clears waivers, he will have the option to elect free agency instead of accepting an outright assignment to AAA. However, choosing free agency would require him to forfeit the remainder of his guaranteed salary, a significant financial consideration. Tonkin had signed a $1 million split contract with the Mets during the offseason, adding another layer of complexity to his decision. As the Yankees continue to navigate a challenging season, the decision to move on from Tonkin represents a shift in their bullpen strategy. It reflects the team's need to adapt to the constantly changing dynamics of a long baseball season, particularly in managing their pitching staff's workload and maintaining flexibility on the roster. Whether Tonkin will find a new opportunity with another team or return to the Yankees organization in a different capacity remains to be seen. But for now, his journey continues as he faces the uncertainties of the waiver process and free agency. Subscribe to the channel to receive the latest news from the Yankees. We're in the way of 4,000 subscribers, so help us get there. I'll be back soon with more updates from the Yankees.